Hello, my name is Gabe. For this problem, we're asked to find the partial fraction's decomposition of this rational expression. Now, since the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, we have to begin by performing long division. So we want to find this quotient. So we'll begin by writing x cubed plus 2x squared plus x. And we are dividing x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus x plus 4x squared plus 8x plus 2. Now from here, we want to see what we can multiply x cubed by to obtain an x to the fourth. And in this case, it's just x. So multiplying x cubed by x, we have x to the fourth. Multiplying 2x squared by x, we have 2x cubed. And multiplying x by x, we have x squared. And here we subtract. So we have 0x to the fourth, 0x cubed. We have a 3x squared. And we bring down a plus 8x, plus 2. Now since there's nothing that we can multiply x cubed by to get 3x squared, this right here is our remainder. So what we end up with is our rational expression, x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8x plus 2 all divided by x cubed plus 2x squared plus x, we have that this is equal to x plus 3x squared plus 8x plus 2, all divided by x cubed plus 2x squared plus x. Now what we're going to worry about is finding the partial fraction's decomposition of this term here. So what we're looking at is we're looking at 3x squared plus 8x plus 2 all divided by x cubed plus 2x squared plus x. Now here, we want to factor the denominator. So let's begin by factoring out an x, since each of the three terms has a factor of x in it. So this is equal to 3x squared plus 8x plus 2 divided by x times x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now we also know that this piece here will factor into x plus 1 quantity squared. So what we have is we have this term is equal to 3x squared plus 8x plus 2 divided by x times x plus 1 quantity squared. Now that we have our denominator completely factored, we can begin our partial fractions decomposition. So we want to write 3x squared plus 8x plus 2 all divided by x times x plus 1 quantity squared as a divided by x. And since this term is a linear term and is repeated, we want to write this as plus b divided by x plus 1 plus c divided by x plus 1 quantity squared. Now here, we can multiply through by the least common denominator, which leaves us with 3x squared plus 8x plus 2 is equal to a times x plus 1 squared plus b times x times x plus 1 plus c 
times x. Now what we can do is we can expand this x plus 1 squared, and we can rearrange the right-hand side of this equation, and then equate coefficients to solve for a, b, and c. So we have our 3x squared plus 8x plus 2. This is going to be equal to a times x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus b times x squared plus x plus cx. So again, here we can rearrange this right-hand side, and what we see is we have 3x squared plus 8x plus 2 is going to be equal to, well, we have an ax squared and we have a bx squared. So we can rewrite this as a plus b times x squared. We have an a times a 2x, we have a b times an x, and we have a c times x. So we can write this as plus 2a plus b plus c times x. And the only constant we have is an a times 1. So now we have our x squared coefficient, our x coefficient, and our constant coefficient. So we can match these up on both the left and the right hand side. So what we see is that our 3 has to be equal to a plus b. 8 has to be equal, equal to 2a plus b plus c. And 2 has to be equal to a. So what this does is this gives us a system of equations, namely the system a plus b equals 3, two a plus b plus c equals eight, and we also have a equals two. So since we already know what a is, we can use the method of back substitution to solve for b and c. So we have a is 2. Let's substitute that into the first equation to solve for b. So we know that a plus b equals 3. Substituting 2 in for a, we have 2 plus b equals 3. And if we subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, we find that b is equal to 1. And now if we substitute that into the second equation, we'll substitute a equals 2 and b equals 1. We have 2 times 2 plus 1 plus c equals 8. So we have 4 plus 1 plus c equals 8, or 5 plus c equals 8. We can subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. And what we find is that c is equal to 3. So now we have a, b, and c solved for. We can use this now to come back to our original problem and write down the partial fractions decomposition. So starting with our rational expression, we know that this is going to be equal to x plus, we're going to have a divided by x, but we already found a to be equal to 2. plus b divided by x plus 1, and we found b to be equal to 1, then plus c divided by x plus 1 quantity squared, and we found c to be equal to 3. So the partial fractions decomposition of our original expression is x plus 2 divided by x, plus 1 divided by x plus 1, plus 3 divided by x plus 1 quantity squared. Thank you.